Hello viewers. Oh, good evening from Uganda. Uh, yeah, we are in our facility right now. We are working on things as our daily routine. Working, working, working. And the daily routine is always from the eggs. Early in the morning, you collect the eggs. You put them into the nursery then we do the shaving of what we are doing right now but i want to talk about something that i want you my friend to observe so the other time i told you uh, uh, what kills your love and one of them is the kind of food that you give your love the storage of the food so now you see right now here in my bin uh, I left one of uh, my friend to work in here uh, alone so he poorly fed this larvae uh, with spoiled food so one thing that I want you to always observe in your bin is that Whenever you, f you smell a certain scent from an uh, unpleasant scent which hasn't been uh, so usual uh, in your pins, just know that something's wrong. So as you can observe in this pin here, uh, this larvae, uh, most of these loves, larvae of them, you can see these these so what do you do in this case in this case um you have to clean everything and begin again from that uh, bin so you can see the larvae they are not enjoying most of them are dormant so uh, we are going to clean this thing then we feed again, uh, we introduce uh, new larvae here and food. Yeah, we have here some shelves, as you can see. We have here some shelves. So these ones are going to be crushed. Yeah, they are very useful in that you can uh, still add them into your fertilizer, the flask that you get from the black soldier fly because they are rich in calcium. Then also the flies themselves, uh, you can still add them into your fertilizer. Yes. So I also want to talk about, to, uh, I've had questions uh, about uh, what happens if the house fly uh, this normal house fly lay into your attractant uh, I've said it uh, in my pre previous video uh, but for clarity uh, you need you don't need to worry about the house fly because the house fly um, they have a shorter li li life cycle than the black soldier fly from the egg uh, to pupation, the housefly has a shorter life cycle. Uh, with, um, within 12 days, uh, the housefly would pupate and leave the bin uh, from where your, uh, your black soldier fly larvae are. So, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, uh, your larvae uh, will stay in, then the other ones will pupate and go out so I've always uh, I, I have a video I made about uh, about that so now we have introduced uh, we are trying to shave because shaving is part of this uh, this project as you can see we have lots of uh, Love here, so we are trying to shave, shaving, 
has to be it's a daily routine every day here so you can see as i told you we used all available resources so for example we are using this wire mesh to shift And reduce on the and reduce on the plus the plus is too much here so it has to be reduced As you can see, so we, we have got to make use of this wire mesh down here. Though its intention wasn't made for this, yeah, but we have to improvise where necessary. It's a lot of work when it comes to shaving. Yeah. You need but uh, you don't need to worry if you have a capital you can introduce a shiver an automated machine that can help you to reduce uh, to quit uh, to ease the work so I always prefer the small gloves these gloves are a bit big as you can see there we have some uh, some uh, pre pupa which have already started migrating yeah that is uh, one of the advantages of shaving so you can see we have lots of pre pupa here so by the morning uh, our collection point will be full so trying to shave uh, this is the flask that we have uh, removed from all these bins here these ponds uh, and this flask actually uh, you can see we have lots of uh, lots of pupa there so we are going to um, to shave out to the flask then we remain with the pupa which we, we shall take to our dark ages. So, lots of uh, our seeds here. You can see there, uh, the pupa is migrating. You can see after shaving. So, there is a lot of activity that you have to do uh, daily. Johnny? So this is our market waste fermented yeah very good as you can see we spread our this is what we call even evenly even yeah we spread our food evenly as you can see if you pile it down uh why we do it like this is that so that you can uh, distribute the food very well 
to the larvae. So when you get, put it in one place, some may fail. It may be a long journey for them to move from where they are to come and feed. So, and also, if you overpile your food, then sometimes it makes them hard to move freely uh, into uh, their being. They will get stuck and eventually die. So they need to uh, move freely in their food. That's what why we spread this food like this in these larger beans as you can see So this is how it looks after we have reduced on the flask. So you can see that even we have the pre-pupa that are climbing to migrate away from their food source. Yeah, so if you don't reduce, then you tend also to uh, make the pre-pupa stay inside there, uh, whereby they can pupate in the bean and they flower your way like as you can see here we have some uh some uh, this adult and here and these have pupated from this bean and here they just fly away so uh, you'll find it that you lose uh, uh you're losing them to the world uh, this is how it looks like so we are feeding them on to the market waste you can see they have consumed these are voracious eaters they have eaten almost everything they are consuming so you can see so you can see 